Pocahontas is the Disney animated tale of the romance between a young American Indian woman named Pocahontas and Captain John Smith, who journeyed to the New World with other settlers to begin fresh lives. Pocahontas's age was a main thing that was portrayed incorrectly in the movie. The real Pocahontas is said to have been around 10 or 11 years old when she came about the island and met Captain John Smith in 1607. At the same time, Captain Smith was 27 years old. The Disney film then bumped Pocahontas' age up significantly to go to the romance route with the two historical figures. The next film we will discuss is the Adam Sandler spoof of the old western movie Magnificent Seven called The Ridiculous Six. In this film, an outlaw who was raised by Native Americans discovers that he has five half-brothers. Together, the men go on admission to find their wayward deadbeat dad. Native Americans reacted to this movie and were in disgust due to the vulgar jokes and misrepresentation of the Native American culture. In the movie, many racist jokes are made and certain costumes that have no correlation to the Apache are referenced. Another film that gives off lousy and inaccurate stereotypes of Native Americans and their culture is the Johnny Depp film The Lone Ranger. In this film, a lawman known as the Lone Ranger find a Native American Indian in a carnival and together they travel thousands of miles to bring down an Old West outlaw. The inaccuracies in this movie start with the face paint of the Indian. The Indian is said in the movie to be a part of the Comanche tribe, but is wearing the colors of the Apache tribe on his face. Face paint in Native American culture today is taken very seriously and in some tribes is used as a prop to worship their gods. Acts of violence and scrutiny are shown by the natives throughout the movie as well. The last film we will discuss is Peter Pan. Peter Pan is the story of a mischievous little boy who can fly and his adventures on the island of Neverland with Wendy Darling and her brothers, Tinkerbell, the Lost Boys, and the person we will be talking about, Indian Princess Tiger Lily. Not many people suspect false portrayal in this childhood movie, however, there is some. Peter Pan was said to be a racist movie due to the singing of the song, What Makes the Red Man Red? when referring to the Indian princess Tiger Lily's father, who was also the chief of the tribe. The use of the word savage is also thrown around 47 times during the movie. Savage was nonetheless a curse word to Indians back in the day. When this movie was first released, a significant amount of Native Americans took serious offenses in this film. <laughs>